Hamilton here with Aesthetic V Blog, and this is Ron Sobel from Red Match Production and old friend Peter Margolis, who is a director producer and was involved in the documentary film that we're about to talk about. And Ron has created this beautiful coffee table book on Randy Rhodes. It's the Quiet Riot years, and he took all these early photographs from. I don't know, when did that start? 1975. 1975, wow. So what inspired you guys to like want to do this book and this documentary? Ron and I met working on another project that, that Ron was instrumental in um, helping us get off the ground. And um, through our friendship and working on this project, Ron said, you know, when, when you're done with this thing, I'd love you to maybe work on a book for me, I've got all these pictures and all these images and all these things. So when you were shooting these photos, did you in your mind say, I know they're gonna be huge, so I wanna document this? Or When I heard Randy play the first time, I thought this guy's gonna make it big. What made him so good as a guitar player? Because you both like, and I know a lot of guitar players like idolize his playing. I mean, what made him so Even different? when he was first starting in Quiet Riot, he had his own sound and his own like, way of playing things and he did these little things with the pick where I call them, he called them pick squeals and I go, I've never heard anybody do that before. You know? Unlike me and unlike a lot of other guitar players who were you know, playing in bands, we all had record players, we all had stereos, we all had tape players, we all had, you know, what we would get whatever the other guitar players were doing and listen to and learn the licks and that's how you learned. You, you know, I learned Jimi Hendrix and Robin Trower and that was my thing until I went to take lessons from Randy and it opened my eyes to all other, you know, um, scales and, 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 and chords that I, I wasn't aware of playing just, you know, Hendrix stuff or, or, or Zeppelin stuff. Randy didn't have a record player. Randy didn't have a stereo. Randy didn't have a tape player. It wasn't a part of what was in his household. His mom ran a music school and it was all about learning how to read music and learning music theory and learning the way people learned, you know, music, like with piano lessons or like with anything else, to do it the right way. So he was actually taught and he knew harmony and theory and, and, and counterpoint and development. So you heard that in his playing. So you put together this book and then you started interviewing people and you kind of by chance did a documentary, right? It wasn't like really a planned thing. What happened was we met Ron, or I, I met Ron and, and uh, Andrew Klein, who also worked on this project with us, um, met Ron through another project. And I, I especially took a liking to Ron because um, Ron was uh, very forthcoming in offering us photos and offering to help us with this project and and not everybody was so what do you want to say about this book and movie that you know why would people be interested to buy this or have it i think the that what's interesting about the book and the story um especially from somebody who was in an la band for a very long time and played all the the same clubs and did the same thing that quiet riot did uh, i know the how difficult that process was, and I know how how few bands actually ever succeed beyond the Sunset Strip. It's a tragic story about you know a guy who all he ever wanted to do was play guitar and make it, and he finally played the guitar and made it, and met an you know an untimely end. Talk to me about your processes as far as what you do creativity wise. Well, with Quiet Riot, like I I met Kevin before he started Quiet Riot. And then once he met Randy and they started the band, I was like really excited about it. Oh, here's something I can be a part of from the beginning. I think the, the, the process is just finding the right story. And that takes a, a long time. Um, but I, it sort of fell into the Quiet Riot thing. I mean, I had the background of being Randy's friend and being Randy's friend and, you know, searched out Ron and, but I think it's, it's finding an interesting and unique story that inspires. Um, so now we're gonna look at a sizzle reel from the documentary. <laughs> Thank you.
Randy Rhodes is the James Dean of hard rock and roll. There's this little skinny kid, and he was great. How do people find you on the web now to like see what you're up to? Or... You can go to redmatchproductions.com and there's a website about the book and the movie and you can purchase it there. You can find me through the Directors Guild of America, dga.org. All right, well, that's, a, that's it for now from Aesthetic V-Blog with Ron Sobel and Peter Margolis. Thank you. Have Thanks, a good Peter. one.